Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for iodine pentafluoride. So here we go. The uh, formula is going to be IF5 and that's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the iodine plus 5 fluorines each with 7 valence electrons of their own for a, a total of 42 valence electrons. All right. So we can start off by subtracting out the largest multiple of 8, which is 40 in this case, which leaves us with 2 electrons. Divide that by 2, which gives us one non-bonding pair. And that since 40 is equal to 8 times 5, that means that this is going to have an AX5E1 structure, which means there is a central atom surrounded by 5 peripheral atoms and the central atom also has one non-bonding pair of electrons, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. So we have the iodine in the center, surrounded by the five fluorines. We can go ahead and start by single bonding all of the fluorines to the central iodine like this, and also filling in the octets of each of the peripheral fluorines just like that okay so that takes care of the X5 now we have to talk about the E1 which is the non-bonding pair of electrons on the central atom so we can just put that right here that's that one non-bonding pair okay and this is going to end up being our final structure so let's go ahead and verify that that is correct by checking the formal charges so the formal charge on the iodine in the center is going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus one, two, three, four, five bonds minus one, two non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then also the formal charge on each of the fluorines, which if you notice, they all have one single bond and six non-bonding electrons, which means that all their formal charges will be the same. So the formal charge will be seven valence brought in minus one single bond minus six non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero as well. Multiply that times five because there are five of them. Add up these formal charges for an overall formal charge of zero, which is exactly what we need because this is not a charged particle or compound, okay? Now, in terms of shape, when we have the AX5E1 type of structure, that means that your shape will be called the square pyramidal, which basically means a pyramid that has a square base, okay? And when you have this type of structure or shape, the bond angle, they're all going to be approximately 90 degrees. Uh, in terms of hybridization, looking at the central iodine here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six different electron groups, which means we need six different hybrid orbitals so we're going to go with sp3 d2 hybrid so you have one s three p's two d's for a total of six hybrid orbitals to match the six electron groups okay and because of the fact that we have this non-bonding pair of electrons here on the bottom that is going to make this a polar compound uh, that is pretty much it for this one if you have any questions please let me know and thanks for watching.